conversate for a few. All right, so we just got done listening to uh, 444. We halfway through uh, 444, which is actually the title track. Um, okay, I'm going to have to cut that noise off. Uh, y'all forgive me. <laughs> what is actually crazy is that the title track, like I, I would not have thought this to be the title track. Right for the album, like, I wouldn't have thought this would have been the content. Yeah, for the title for track. the title track. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the song start off first line. I apologize, often womanized. It took for my daughter to be born to see through a woman's eyes. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. that's so because everyone is talking about the new J album and they yeah. talk about it. They say either four forty four or four four four. Yeah, and so just. It, subconsciously, yeah. there's a lot of mental concentration being focused on this track mm-hmm. that deals with mm-hmm. the most pressing mm-hmm. issue mm-hmm. that he's telling mm-hmm. about himself. He set that is, up beautifully. Yeah, yeah, which is, you know, of course, his relationship. Right. I think it's. I think he centered the album around the most important things in his life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's really kind of, kind of how it balances out. He centered it around the most important things in his life. He. Uh, and 444 being right at the middle, you know what I mean? Like, the the kids, I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. mean a ton to them. You know what I mean? Like, a ton is an understatement, but mean the world right. to them. But those kids, don't they don't exist without her. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, that, and that, that, that channel that you have with them changes once she's out the picture, period. I don't True. care. You know what I mean? I don't care how you twist it how you flip it you know what i mean once that dynamic is changed and she's not there with you and your interactions and y'all not doing that together your abilities with her decline and he know that yeah he know that i mean your abilities abilities with the kids with the children decline with the children. you know what i mean that's just all it is to it um and i'm going from not having a dad mm-hmm. then he don't want no parts of that you know which is also understandable but for me this 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 thing is like song cry without the ego bro now, you know, it's literally song cry without the ego. Yeah. You know, you get to see me cry. I don't end the song being the man. Right. You know what I mean? I end the he, song. Like, I, I think I wrote here, it's like, uh, he, like you said, actually, it sounds like it's, he knows it's going to be over. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what I'm saying is it sounds in the song to me like he's losing her present time. Yes. And he also knows that if he's, and he's not sure this is going to work out, but he definitely knows that if he don't make some adjustments and become more of who he said he was going to be, or who he even wants to be, yes. you see what I'm saying? That it ain't going to work out. Yes. You know, and... Yeah, because he, he said a line about that. Yeah. I didn't, I'm uh, sorry, I didn't live up to all the things that I... To the person I said I would, uh, uh, yeah, to all the, yeah, it's a crazy line. Yeah, to the man I said I'd be, or some, some to that extent, you know. Yeah, like that's what you mean. That's what I got from it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, damn, like I apologize for not being who I said I was gonna be. Yeah, or yeah. selling you a dream like I had the potential to be something that I knew I couldn't be in the beginning. You know. Yeah. And and that's the that's that's the thing for men too. Uh, I know for for me. And and a lot of men that I that I feel like it is for the men that I, a lot of men that I know, once you get to a certain status level and you bring in a certain level of income and you doing a certain level of thing, then then a lot of men feel like they doing what they supposed to be doing. They pull it. They they pulling their weight. You know what I mean? Right. Man, he's the big one of the business big businessmen on the planet. But that ain't weight to her. You see what I'm saying? Like the emotional part is the is where the weight needs to be pulled, and that's the part that most of us lack. That's true. You know, that's <laughs> the part that most of us lack. Um, and like you said, it's impactful album, man, because he's giving us the opportunity to to face the fact that you've been lacking it and do something about it if you so choose. You know. Yeah, and so it seems like even by doing this album, he's trying to. Mm-hmm. Show that he's, you know, what I mean, turned over a new leaf, yeah. or he, he's trying to admit because I yeah. mean, there's no bigger um, uh, apology that you can do than issue apology yeah. to the entire world, right? To your wife, right? And admit on record, right? You're wrong, right? 
Right. So that's a that's a huge step. Most people, first of all, this is what another reason why it's a great album. Most people are not going to do that. Shit, first man. of all, most people don't want to admit they're wrong. Mm-hmm. Even if you do, you admit you're wrong. You definitely don't want to admit man. you're wrong to millions the of people. The only people that do it that way are they or the David Letterman's and the uh, and the Jimmy Swaggers and the um, the people that get caught red ass handed live. You know what I mean? Like on you got caught on TV. This is what you did. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't come out. You don't come out unless your unless your car get pulled. Nobody. Nobody does this. Yes. So th- th- this co- this connects about song cry, and it's funny. Now I'm thinking mm-hmm. about this. Eyes mm-hmm. is a theme through mm-hmm. this whole album. Mm-hmm. Conversate mm-hmm. for a few. Because as he said in that one song, uh, they tell the truth and everything else lies. But on this verse, he ends it by saying, "Well, we, we were talking about. I found the line. Mm-hmm. He said, and I apologize uh, because I fall short of what I say I'm all about." Your eyes leave the soul that your body once housed. And you stare blankly into space thinking of all the time you wasted and all this basic shit. So I apologize. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, and it, it goes back to um, caught their eyes when he says, right. I can see a side eye in my sleep. In my sleep. Yeah. 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 Real so talk. He, he knows because the person feelings or emotion that shows up in their face. Right. And so he he he, he can uh, you know what I mean he can re- look at the eyes and tell what's going on. He can look at them and tell when they ain't there no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like those eyes was gone, and that and that what you just read the eyes had left. Right. Yeah, she's with staring the soul off that with it once house. So I don't yeah. even so the connection, the deep deepness that we shared, the bond that we shared, it's been what I've done caused it to be severed. Right. So now that's why it's blank stare. You don't yeah. see. Mm-hmm. Her anymore when you look mm-hmm. in the eyes because she's, she's not giving at herself. You. Yeah, she's not to giving you it to you. Yeah, she's not there to be seen for you. That's ugh. that would make That's you write stuff. a song like this. Yeah, you, you have see what I'm to. saying like There's if no you other really, way to express it for an artist. If you processing this, if this is going on in you and you pick up a pen, something, something, this has got to come out. You know what I mean? And then Jay Jay Z done seen some therapy, brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He done talked yeah. to somebody that could tell him about himself. You know what I mean? Like, and that's real talk. This is this is therapy talk on this album, bro. You know, like what what rapper do you know is gonna say the words that you said when you read those? Um, they 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 not measuring up. Conversate yeah. for a few. Who? For no a one. Few. Who? That's Nobody. not normal. This song, wonderfully put together, mm-hmm. is. And is as I read over the lyrics now, because mm-hmm. I pulled them up. Mm-hmm. I said this right. I said it's the most, most poetic, poetic song. Now look, now and you was talking before about like if you just laid the book down and just mm-hmm. read some of this stuff, you'd mm-hmm. be like, this? "Yeah, no, those are poems. Those are poems." Mm-hmm. He says, and this is verse two. Now he said, "Our love is one for the ages, and I contained us in all this ratchet shit, and we more." Expansive, not meant to cry and die alone in these mansions or sleep with our back turned. We supposed to vacate till our backs burn. We're supposed to, and this is the rig, it's yeah. real poetic. We're supposed to laugh till our heart stops and then meet in a space where the dark stop and let love light the way. Wait, that is super poetic. <laughs> we supposed let to laugh love... until we die. Yeah. We supposed to laugh until we die together, meet on the other side and continue that and let love yeah, light everything. Yeah, light the way. Let that, that's super, yeah. super. Yeah. That's a pretty Jackson has found a, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's found a new, a new side of himself yeah. that he's drawing from yeah. to write this. But, yeah. of course, very interpersonal relationships mm-hmm. Or in mm-hmm. turmoil in them will, right. will draw we'll you, that. move the, move you to, you know, write in such a way. Absolutely. And he did the most intelligent thing with it. I'm going to put it out for the world and make it a great album and yeah. impactful. Yeah. So my suffering actually becomes something great and can be somewhat therapeutic for yeah. people. For me and others. Yeah. You know, definitely for himself. It's got to be. So it's serving this album. This what makes it great because it's serving multiple purposes as we already discussed. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect from the song um, at all. Did you, and in that, in that article that uh no ID that I sent you from yeah. No ID. We'll have that on the we'll have that link so you can see the article that we talking about from No ID, the producer of the whole album. 
Um, he talked about how he put this song together and boxed Jay in so that he had to talk about it. Yeah. He made the song. Like, he produced this song. It was after conversations with Jay, but he was like, okay, how do I get to that? How do I get that conversation on a record? So he produced the record and put the singing in places and and boxed Jay in. Like, this is all you going to, like, you take this somewhere else, then you ran. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you take this beat somewhere else and talk about anything else, then you ran from the topic. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? So that's... Because when you hear the beat, it... it the, what he's talking about fits the beat perfectly. So yeah. R.I.D. geniusly yeah. put this, he boxed yeah. Jay he in. He boxed Jay in to this conversation. <laughs> well, you had to, because there's nothing else. You can't rap about Marcy Projects on this. Mm-mm. Not on this. Mm-mm. Not she with that vocal. She crying vocals. out. She crying Not out. Not with those vocals. He and you Jay can up. hear the pain yeah. and sorrow in the vocals. He said, So him you got to talk about a serious topic. Mm-hmm. He said, him Like up. this. And either you're going to tell and, it or not. Right. And then the sample says, as it ends, or as mm-hmm. multiple samples, mm-hmm. but the one that plays out at the end, I'm never going to love you like I should. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and here, now look at how this concludes. Mm-hmm. I never wanted a woman, he said, I never wanted another woman to know something about me that you didn't know. I promised. I cried. I couldn't, ho- I couldn't hold. I suck at love. I think I need to do over. I would, I would be emotionally available if I invited you over. Mm-hmm. I stew over. What if you over my shit? Yeah. And then the song just in. Yeah. It actually, it actually sounds like it was supposed to be more to the verse when right. you listen to the song yeah. the way it stopped. And if yeah. I stew over, if you over my shit. Yeah. And, because the way he says and if, and then, I think this is a typo because he says and if I mm-hmm. think on the actual audio, not what if. Right. But. Regardless, the way he put the pause at if yeah. and then say the last line, you think something else is coming, and it seems like it just ends abruptly on, right. for, on the verse side. Right. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, what, what, what are you saying? But if you listen, Where is yeah, this going? But it's, it's, it's going. <laughs> he it's left open ended because he don't know. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just as this confusing. is like his maybe like his hail mary. Yeah, like and saving the relationship. It, there you go. There you go. I don't know. I I stew over. If you're over my shit, like because you gotta think about what's, you don't what's stop. That, the implications yeah. of that, right? You I don't, don't stop stewing. You don't stop stewing until you get a result. He'll never know until it's all over. Like he gotta consistently try. Conversate for a few. For you don't get no it. answer. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't get no answer because the answer could change based on your 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 actions. Yes. You know. But uh, is there another song that's ever been created that can make men talk about relationships in the way that men gonna have to talk about relationships if they decide to discuss this song? Yeah, and and now I gotta back up because I said that was the end. That's it the was end of the, the second verse. The right? end of the second verse. The third verse, which is, is like he picks it up yeah. right back off where he left, but it's very short. But it's the third verse nonetheless. Mm-hmm. And he says, "And if my children mm-hmm. knew, I did. I don't even know what I would do." If your children knew what, but then he gonna tell us, right? Mm-hmm. I don't even know what I would do if they ain't look at me the same. I would probably die with all the shame. You did what with who? Mm-hmm. This is his children yeah. questioning him. Yeah. Then he says, "What good is a menage a trois when you have a soulmate? You risk that for, for blue? blue? Yeah. If I wasn't a superhero in your face, my heart breaks for the day I have to explain my mistakes and the mask goes away, and Santa Claus is fake." And you go online and see for blues tooth the tooth fairy didn't pay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is um. And this Santa is, Claus goes away. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Whew. And this, and, you know, this is um, this is deep because this he's already to mm-hmm. me kind of premeditating. I won't say premed. He's already preparing himself. preparing himself mm-hmm. that she may leave. She whatever whatever's happened to this point, it's been clearly stated and made to him that your shit does stink and you could be left stewing in that shit alone. You know what I mean? Like that's this song is obvious that he knows that. You know what I mean? And a lot of us run around like we don't. Conversate for a few. You know what I mean? Like a lot of us run around like we don't. This is if he if his shit stink, then obviously yours does. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that's just all it is to it, and he laid it out like 
I've been stinking up the spot for quite a while now. But and he laid it up beautifully though. Like he's just like you said, this may be the most and if it is the most poetic song on the album, then it makes the most sense for it to be the most poetic song on the album because it is the song directly dedicated to his woman. Yes. You know? Like if you was gonna do a more poetic song, I don't know what you would make it. Right. You know, right. I don't know which song gonna hear you choose to be more more poetic. You know, this this conversation is going to this whole dialogue on this album is going to um, take another turn because as I'm thinking the mm-hmm. next song for those who haven't heard the album, mm-hmm. but if you heard the album, you know the, the next, next song, song is Family Feud, Feud. Yeah. and it's some of this mm-hmm. is sprinkled in there. Yeah, he picks yeah. up again yeah. dealing with. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can say alleged anymore since he's admitted. Mm-hmm. But you know, fidelity, infidelity, mm-hmm. rumors. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I just thought about what the next song is, "Family Feud." So, I mean, I think, I think we covered most of this. It can move did. to the next one because it's going to. There's great continuity in the album. That next song ties right into this. All right. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the next one. Y'all join us with the listen and then come back back. All right. Conversate for a few. Conversate for a few. 